morning and welcome to Skaparskolan, south of Stockholm in Huddinge. Around 20 kilometers from the center of Stockholm. Uh, we're a school with grade 1 till 10. Uh, around 485 students today and 53 people in the staff. We've chosen to uh, have a, a different kind of classroom than traditionally used in Sweden. Uh, we've chosen to have uh, larger classrooms, or as we call them, studios, around twice the size uh, as a normal classroom. And to be able to do that, we have uh, larger groups, around 50 students in every group. And the reason for that is that we want to have two teachers in the classroom at all times. So in a grade here at Skopa School, we are about 54 children. And during the day, we mainly divide them into two groups, but we also can divide them into smaller groups or we can be all together, all 54 children. And that's mainly when we do morning assembly, story time, show and tell or other gatherings. And most of the times we then gather here. When we do split them into two groups, uh, me and my colleague mainly uh, split them into Studio A and Studio B, and then we have an introduction or we have showing a movie or something like that. And then when the children start working together, they kind of blend together. So some of them can be sitting and doing math and some of them can be doing a science experience, experiment or reading or something. And then they can be anywhere in the room. So they could be up in the loft or they could be in a choir room or just in front of the screen. How do we keep inside voices? How can we be everybody in one room doing different things? That's something you really need to work with the children, but it can be a challenge. As well with the cooperative learning strategies that we do a lot, we need to learn, uh, teach the children how to cooperate. For some children it comes natural, for other children it's really a struggle. The reason we've done that is that we want uh, active students uh, we want to have variation in, in our teaching. Uh, we want the children to cooperate. Uh, we want to create safe places uh, for the students uh, where they can work individually. And we want the teachers to keep learning by working with someone else all the time during the day. Uh, and if they do have papers and pens, for example, we have create, creative solutions with a set stool or we have uh, clipboards, or they come up with other solutions. Uh, I think that anyone can do this, uh, no matter how your classroom looks today. I think the most important thing is that before you start to do any change, uh, be sure of what you want to achieve, uh, or have some idea anyway, and then start.